am Becca Rana42, your favorite YouTube harpy, and we're talking Star Wars for a change. I saw, I talk both Star Wars, Star Trek, Doctor Who, that's, that's more than two, both is two. I talk all kinds of geek culture stuff over here on the channel. If you guys are new, thank you so much for, for subscribing, hitting the notification. We're talking Star Wars right now. Oh my god. You know, I, I saw this, and, and it's kind of a screen rant kind of day. There's just so much awesome stuff coming from them. Star Wars Episode Nine title is great if it's real. You know, I, I agree. Star Wars The End would be a perfect title. Because do we really even care at this point? I mean, I don't think anybody cares that much about Star Wars. We're more interested in the behind-the-scenes drama than the actual film. And that really, really says a lot. That's kind of how I am. I'm way more interested in, you know, the, the whole Kiri Hart possibly being fired, Kathleen Kennedy destroying the franchise... What director are they going to fire this week? That stuff is more interesting than the actual content of these films. And, and you know, Star Wars The End might be a perfect title. They're not going to go with it, though. I skimmed through. I did skim through this article. A lot of the times I don't. A lot of the times I just react blindly. This one I skimmed through to see if it was worth talking about. And I think it is. I think it's a little worth talking about. A rumored Star Wars Episode Nine title would be perfect for the upcoming film. If it proves to be true, director Jar Jar Abrams has been hard at work filming the Skywalker Saga finale since last summer, and by all accounts, has almost wrapped. With, Anth with actors like Anthony Daniels finishing up their scenes recently, it's only a matter of time before principal photography on episode 9 is in the can. Can the can be the toilet? Can we just flush it down the toilet and, and pretend Star Wars is a thing we used to like and... Not, not this giant disaster of a franchise that it has become. Same with Star Trek, same with Doctor Who, same with comic books, same with everything geekdom. We're, we're, we're kind of getting attacked on all sides, so this is why I cover a little bit of everything. Uh, that means Lucasfilm will finally commence the marketing campaign for their latest blockbuster. Oh, this is part of it. This is part of the marketing. Don't 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 think that this, these articles are not part of their their marketing campaign. They've already started. This is why they're kind of giving you guys a little test footage. This is probably, in my opinion, I would not be surprised if this is just something to see how people react to it. That means Lucasfilm will finally commence a marketing campaign, slowly dolling out information on their terms to be steadily built to steadily build hype until Episode Nine's December premiere. Well, that's what I just said. That's what I just said. They're they're sending these these little leaks and and possible titles out just to see people's reaction. I think people didn't like what was the last one, the the Knights of Ren or whatever the hell the last the last title leak was. I don't even remember what the other title leak was or or speculative title. I think they're I think it's a test title. I think they they send these out there just to see if people want the titles to see the reaction. They re read through the comments of the big Star Wars channels. And that's how they determine. They probably don't even do that. They probably just look on social media. Just to kind of determine, oh, we, we can title this. This thing. One key aspect of the film fans are quite eager to learn is the official title. Eh, not really. I mean, it's, it's st we're, I'm still going to just go up to the box office and say Star Wars. Or realistically, I'll probably have to purchase a ticket in advance. Because I have to watch it for the channel now. Because I talk about it so much. Historically, movie, Star Wars movies' names tend to be relatively straightforward, a straightforward representation of the project's core narratives and themes. For example, The Empire Strikes Back literally lets the audience know the villains aren't going to come out on top, and The Force Awakens alluded to the Force. Well, awakening inside of Rey, she took her first steps into a larger world. What, was she a toddler? Just, like, little big old Rey toddler bobblehead, just taking one little baby step at a time, falling face first because her head's bigger than her whole body? Took her first steps. How sweet. Given Lucasfilm's penchant for secrecy, Episode 9's title's been a mystery to the general public throughout the movie's development. I've already made a video on this, now that I think about it. I make so many of these Star Wars videos where I, I believe they said Episode 9's title didn't matter. I thought that was the direction they went with it. Viewers have no shortage of proposed titles, though one in particular stands out as the best of the bunch. And there's a Futurama's prediction. That's a related article. We don't need, to, we don't need that. 
Reddit user Davy Baby eighty six eight six 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 Hail Satan posted an image of the R movies page of a supposed episode nine title leak, which shows the movie will be called Balance of the Force. The design of the title card is similar to the previous installments of the sequel trilogy with the main Star Wars logo in purple. While this is most likely an elaborate Photoshop job modeled after StarWars.com, it does serve as a jumping off point in an interesting discussion. Why would this be a great title for Episode 9? Well, because it was a great title for a pinball table. That's why I have it on pinball effects. The balance of the force table. It has the light side of the force and the dark side. I think it's like a whole collection of tables. But yeah, I, I do have all of these pinball tables, and I'm not allowed to really sh show footage of them. This might be part of it, because the pinball franchise tends to go alongside more of the animated series. I would almost suspect something like Balance of the Force would be more of an animated series, even though they do show... Of, of course, you, you have the, the light side and the dark side of the Force. Yeah, there there's... I think there's a whole collection of them. It's been a long time since i played these. They also weren't that great at tables, to be honest. I mean, they, they weren't like the Empire Strikes Back or the... No, it wasn't the Empire Strikes Back. The best table of the of the Star Wars pinball tables was probably Return of the Jedi table, now that I think about it. That was probably the best one. <sighs> so we're talking pinball now. <laughs> Star Wars pinball, Balance of the Force. So they're really going to use that as the title. I don't think they're going to. I don't think they're going to. For starters, it would be a continuation of one of the last Jedi's core ideas, which challenged the antiquated dogmatic views of the older of the Order and argued that a striking that striking a proper balance between the light and dark sides is better a better route to take. Yes, 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 and and we we've already had the the common theme of from the episode one. I, I always refer to the Weird Al song when I think about episode one. Can he be balanced to the Force? Talking about Anakin, the prophecy. It would be too good. They probably wouldn't do it because it would be too good. We always get clunkers, like a, like a Attack of the Clones or, or was, was one of them, right? When the Clone Wars would have been much better, even though they used it for the animated series. We always kind of get those bad B-movie titles. I don't think they're going to give us something like Balance of the Force because it's too it's too good. It would make too much sense. You know, The Last Jedi was a little clickbaity. And I think they're going to do something a little more clickbaity than that. Rey is most likely staying on a heroic path, who cares, but her goal is to help the concept of the Jedi evolve by learning from the previous mistakes and integrated, integrating new ideas so the next Order can thrive long term. Who cares? No one cares about the Order. No one cares about Rey. No one cares about Kylo. We want to see if Luke and Han and Leia are going to come back. And even then, I don't, I don't know if we really care that much. I really, I really don't. Additionally, it's been rumored episode 9 sees the arrival of a new threat for the mysterious beyond, which may require Kylo Ren and Rey teaming up to defeat it. Who cares? Oh, Lord, this sounds terrible. I don't want to know any more of the plot leaks. This sounds exactly like The Last Jedi, where they had to team up against Snoke. Are they just going to remake The Last Jedi? I mean, without actually remaking The Last Jedi? That, that kind of seems like something they might have to do. What do you guys think? Do, do we care about the title anymore? Because I, I made a video already where, where Screen Rant, I want to say it was Screen Rant, basically said, Episode 9's title doesn't matter. So now they're saying it does? And, and it's great if, it is, if it's real. I think it's great for a pinball table because, you know, we have it. We already have the Balance of the Force pinball table. And it's, you know, they're, they're not, I think it's a whole pack now that I think about it. It's been a while since I've played them on pinball effects. I mean... What do you guys think? Do, do, are, we, are we kind of at the point where, where Star Wars is just... Uh, do we even want to talk about Star Wars? It's more, it's more fun watching it burn. It's really more fun watching the behind-the-scenes drama. I think, I think their, their original article from well, about a, a month ago, I want to say, is probably valid where, you know, their t the title doesn't really matter. It really doesn't. It, it's just... It, it is just to try and drum up interest in this franchise... That I think people are kind of moving on from, at, le at least me. I know my passion is definitely more, I'm still more in the I, I want to lash out at Star Trek sort of phase because I, I definitely have more more of my brain eggs in the, in the Star Trek basket than in Star Wars. Star Wars is a little easier for me to walk away from, I think, than Star Trek because Star, Star Wars is so... I don't, I don't know. It, it, 
it, it has so many failures over the years anyway. I'm not the hugest prequel fan. I liked For Force Awakens all right when it came out. I really did. It, it was okay. It set up a lot of good stuff, and Last Jedi really ruined Force Awakens for me. Last Jedi ruined a lot of Star Wars for me, and Star Wars ruined Star Wars for me. So tell, tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. I am MechaRandom42. It has been... One, one heck of a week talking about this. Thank you guys so much for almost, I think we're almost at 25,000 subs. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I will see you guys on the next video or live stream. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.